Halberg Array. A Halberg Array is a special arrangement of permanent magnets with alternating polarization. It is designed to make the magnetic field on one side stronger than the magnetic field on the other side. I am going to use the DC magnetics model of quick field to calculate the magnetic field distribution in the Halberg Array. Okay, let's start quick field now. In quick field, I create new problem. Array. Next. Problem type is magnetostatics. I'm going to simulate only a single cross section. So the model class is plane parallel. Length units are inches. And the model XL length is one inch. Finish. On the left is the problem pane, and on the right is the geometry model editor window. First, I'm going to insert a rectangle with the dimensions 0.5 by 0.5 inches. Close. And I need three copies more. So switch to select objects mode, click to select, right click, duplicate selection, displacement by 0.5 inch to the right, three more copies. Okay, now let's assign labels to distinguish one permanent magnet from another. This magnet is magnetized up. I will give it label knob. This magnetized to the left, and I will give it the label West. This one magnetized down, and the label South. And this one magnetized to the right, and the label East. And I would like to duplicate this pattern to, to the right. So select. Hold the ALT button press to start the drag. And to make a copy, hold the CTRL button pressed. Now you can release the mouse button. Here you are, we have 8 magnets. Now let's provide physical properties for these magnets. Double click the label name in the tree. The relative magnetic permeability of the magnet is 1.05. The corrosive force is 750 kiloamperes per meter and the direction is to the right zero okay north pole same magnetic permeability same magnitude of the corrosive force and the direction up 90 degrees south magnet same magnetic permeability, same magnitude of the corrosive force, and the direction down, minus 90 degrees. And the west magnet, same magnetic permeability, same magnitude of the corrosive force, and the direction to the left, 180 degrees. Okay. In fact, the magnetic field is distributed not only in the permanent magnets, but also in the air outside. So I need to add the air block to the model. Zoom out, switch to insert mode, change the line type to arc arc, and draw the air block boundary. OK. Again, switch to select objects mode, click to select and assign label air. And I should assign label to the external boundary. Hold the control button press to select several objects. External. Now for the air, the magnetic permeability is 1. And far away from the magnets, magnetic field fades to 0. So the magnetic potential at the external boundary is 0. OK. Before I can start the analysis, I should build the finite event mesh just. Press this button and the mesh will be generated. Now save all problem files and solve the problem. Let's take a look at the result. Let's zoom in. Indeed, it looks like the field above the magnets are higher than the field below the magnets, but the field lines look broken. That's because of 
insufficient mesh quality. Let's solve and refine. Okay. You see the mesh density was automatically adjusted. Let's take a look at the results. Now the field lines are smooth curves, which is basically correct. Let's adjust the field picture and switch on the color map of the flux density. The correspondence between the colors and the numbers you can see in the legend. I'm going to use the contour tool to get the flux distribution. Contour, add lines. First point is here and the last point is here. Here is the contour and both the permanent magnets close. Let's take a look at the XY plot and the exact values I can see in the table. I'm going to switch off the unnecessary columns and leave only the distance and the flux density. And I'm going to adjust the tabulation step. Let it be 0.1 inch. Okay, let's copy this data and paste it here. This is a ball. Now switch back to quick field, clear this contour and add the new one. This time below start point add line now i have drawn the contour below the magnets let's take a look at the xy plot and open the table again switch unnecessary columns and adjust the tabulating step copy all the data and paste it here below. Okay, this column I do not need. And now I'm going to put both dependencies on the same chart plot. Insert chart, XY scatter. Now you see indeed the flux density above is much higher than the flux density below the array of permanent magnets. If you search for the Halbach array on our website, you will find the example page. Here you can read about problem setup, browse the solution section, take a look at the resulting pictures and download the simulation files. Simulation files may be opened and the results may be viewed using any Quickfield edition, including Quickfield Student Edition, that you can download from our website for free.